Mercy and Flatlands neighborhoods have seen one of the highest coronavirus infection rates in all of Brooklyn. It has been topping the count of deaths in New York, with 4% of its residents testing positive for the virus. Canarsie is also home to Guyanese State Senator Roxanne Prasad. Serving more than 318,000 people in her district, which stretches from Canarsie, East New York, and all the way to Sheepsheads Bay. Prasad has a seat on the state assembly. She gets to influence government. The most recent decision at her hands was holding accountable the Brooklyn Funeral Home, which left dozens of decomposing bodies in the streets in unrefrigerated containers, some being Guyanese. I had the debacle of a funeral home in my district uh, that had the storing bodies in, in, um, in the vehicles outside of that. And so I was dealing with, with the U-Haul. It was not only U-Haul, people saw the U-Haul, and it was U-Haul, but there were cars also that they had bodies in. And, and so I was dealing with that. You know, people were calling, you know, my father is there, my mother is there, and I can't get any answer. You know, the state sent somebody down to work, and so I'm talking with those people talking about the Department of Health here to find out what is going on, you know, it, it, it's crazy. You know, when people are calling and telling you, oh, you know, there, there's blood running down the street from a, from a truck, and you know that there are bodies in it. Prasad added that many people try to justify the actions of the funeral home, but as state senator, she felt that their actions were unjustified. When you actively go out there and get a U-Haul or a Mack truck or whatever, you already knew you had a capacity issue. So when, you st when you're stacking bodies on top of each other in unrefrigerated trucks, you are ready. This is no longer capacity issue. You have to bear some responsibility. So, you know, people are like, oh, it's, it's Caribbean people. It doesn't matter who you are. Oh, you know, the person said that he was trying to help people. No, you still have to bear some responsibility. All of the deaths that occurred in her district were recorded by her office. Some still came as a shock to her. But I then had um, a mother and daughter who died um, a day apart. They one lives upstairs, one lives downstairs, and they died a day apart. Um, it was it was it was just horrible. I'm in the office and sit there. One day I was writing just um, condolence cards all day. It's a stack of condolence cards to families, including that mo to the family, the mother and, and daughter who had passed away within you know less than 24 hours apart. The residents of Brooklyn are cautiously trying to go forward with life as normal as possible bearing in mind the radical changes that occurred over the past months. New York reopened some parts of the economy on Monday, June 8th, after suffering more than 205,000 infections and 22,000 deaths. With a special report from New York, I'm Jennifer Jabbar.